Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this special installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. It's going to be, it's going to be a day. I'll just warn you up front. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. This is the show. Um, is this the show? Yeah, this is the show. One of the shows where I help you start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership. Have a happy, healthy, balanced life while you're doing it. Thank you so much for being here. If you are listening on your podcast catcher, join us on the conversation on Facebook. Uh, you can do that by going to TomRigsby.com slash Facebook. That gets you to the right place if you're watching live. You can catch this on iTunes, Stitcher, Streaker, Stitcher, whatever that thing's called. And tune in. I really should learn. Streaker, that's uh, Streaker? I know there's Stitcher. There's another one, too. Anyway... Uh, thank you for being here. If you're watching live or watching on the replay, please do me the favor of leaving a comment down there. Let me know that you're watching. Just say hi. Give the, the, uh, this video a thumbs up. Something to let me know that you're here. And wow, look at that. There's folks here already. Good morning, Jeremy, Joe, and Abby. Always awesome to have you folks join me. I made a comment yesterday that I said would be a great topic for today. But I'm going to have to come back to that because something else happened yesterday that I have to talk about. So there was a conversation going on in my proximity that led me to this point. And it's, it's something that we've talked about a little bit here a couple of times but I think I have a new perspective on it. And the title of today's video is Freedom From or Freedom To. And one of the things, and, and I, I, I'm going to do my best to stay, well, it's too late, already on my soapbox. I'm going to do my best to dial it down just a little bit. But this is, a, I want you to really listen. This is an important topic. Because we talk about freedom a lot especially as business owners, as entrepreneurs, as self-employed people, one of the reasons that people do that, one of the reasons people say they do that, is for the freedom that that lifestyle affords. Right? The, the, the freedom that you get from being your own boss. The freedom that you get to whatever. And we use the word without really understanding the word. And so this conversation that was going on was, was talking about, was talking about freedom from this perspective. And it really, you know, is the, the origins of the title this morning. When we seek freedom, when we say we want e either personal freedoms, national freedoms, freedoms to run your business, the freedom that you get as a business owner, are you seeking freedom from something or freedom to do something? And I think there's a big difference. We talk about, I mean, I'm going to hit a sensitive topic here, okay? Forewarning. Freedom of religion or freedom from religion? There's a big difference between those two. Freedom of religion means that I can practice whatever religion I want. Freedom from religion means that I don't have religion foisted upon me. There is a difference. And here's the difference. This is the way I want you to think about it. And then let me know what you think. There is, in the world today, there is an abundance mindset and there is a scarcity mindset. Right? There's... The, the scarcity mindset says there is a finite amount of wealth in the world and I need to get mine. I need to secure my portion of that wealth. And it also says if you operate under the scarcity mindset, that also requires you to believe this, that if I build wealth, then you can't have it. Because I have it. There's a finite amount of wealth to be had, right? 
The abundance mindset says there is an infinite amount of wealth to be had. Let's build it together and share in the benefits. And I want to use this example. This comes from Thou Shall Prosper by uh, uh, Daniel Lappin. And he says, think about it this way. If you go work a job for an hour and you get paid $20 for that job, or let's say a young man goes and rakes leaves, cuts grass, does whatever he's going to do, gets 20 bucks for that hour, and he takes that $20 bill, now he has a measure of wealth. And he goes to the store, and with that $20 bill, buys, I know it wouldn't do it, but just run with me on this, buys a pair of tennis shoes. He has exchanged this item of wealth for this item of wealth. He is still wealthy in his mind, right? So now that $20 has changed hands from that young man to the shop owner who has given away a pair of shoes and now has a $20 bill. He also has increased his wealth by $20. So two people have increased their wealth by the same amount using the same piece of paper. So there is an infinite amount of wealth available. Equally, there is an infinite amount of freedom available. For me to have my freedom to start my business does not take the opportunity away from you. We both have that opportunity. And if we work together, we can both build a business that provides for both of our needs. So the correlation there between freedom from and freedom to, freedom from is coming from a scarcity mindset. To say that I am free from means that there is some constraint there that is holding me back. Hence the definition of from. You are free from what? Conversely, the freedom to is an, comes from an abundance mindset. I have the freedom to do whatever I want. I don't have freedom from the consequences of doing that, but I have the freedom to do it. If I want to fly, and I know Joe hates this, this example because I used it the other day. And he says it's not really flying, it's falling, but work with me for 10 minutes here, okay? If I want to fly, I can go to the top of a building and jump off. And for a few seconds, I'll be flying. But that does not free me from the consequences that are going to happen right after that. But I can do it. Now, if we decided to take an approach that we wanted to protect people from their own stupidity, freedom from the consequences of their choices. Well, that's completely different. So what I want you to, to take away from our conversation this morning, and I'm, I'm sure there are comments coming. <laughs> I'm pretty... This topic got me worked up. Now you see why I had to take on this topic this morning. As you approach your day, as you approach your week, your, your quarter, your year... I want you to think about freedom and how freedom applies to what you're trying to do. Can you do what you're trying to do with the freedom that you presently have? That's it. And, and so, and, and this does, actually this does tie into our opportunities conversation that we've been having this week. Monday I said, that uh, an opportunity without risk is just a gift, right? So if I wanted to start a business and I knew it was guaranteed that it would not fail, I had complete freedom from failure, it wouldn't be a risk at all, nor would it be an opportunity, it'd just be a job, right? There's always some risk associated with real opportunity. And when we try to protect people, protect people from the consequences of their choices, the only way to do that is to reduce the amount of freedom that they have to exercise in their lives. That's it. That's the whole topic for today. I hope my intent in sharing this with you today is just to get you to think about two things. One what freedom really means. Is it freedom from something or freedom to, 
do something. And how that relates to an abundant or a scarcity mindset. I want, I sincerely desire for you to approach everything you do from the abundance mindset. If you do, there is plenty for me to create and share with the world. Right? I don't have to hoard everything. I, I can share it with as many people as I want. And in fact, the more people I share with, the greater the abundance becomes the more it multiplies. Along those lines, if this is uh, interesting, beneficial, or thought-provoking for you, I would love it if you would share this within your network. Share this video, leave a comment, tag somebody in it, do whatever you feel is appropriate to help me share this message. And if you have not already, be sure and like the page, Tom Rigsby, the Unashamed Nonconformist. That will make sure that you get a notification every weekday morning when I go live, and you will not miss a new episode, or a new set of comments. Good morning, Stephanie. Thank you for being here also. Okay, either I got some folks really fired up and they can't figure out how to comment yet because they're so passionate about their thoughts, or I covered it completely and there's nothing left to say. Either way, I appreciate all of you being here. I appreciate the sharing that you're going to do with this message. It is Wednesday, that means the coffee shop show is coming up at uh, 9 o'clock, about an hour and 45 minutes from now. Be sure and catch that if you are in Huntsville and you have the opportunity, come by the coffee shop. I always like it when people come by and join us in the conversation. We'll be at Old Town Coffee on Pratt Avenue, just off of Five Points. And we usually get there about, I don't know, I might be a little late this morning. Around 8, 8.30, something like that. Start the show at 9. I can go until we get tired or 20 minutes, whichever comes first. Anyway, we'd love for you to join us either on video or in person. Either way is great. Don't forget to leave those comments down below. I will be spending a little bit of time in there checking those as we go. You have a wonderful Wednesday. I'll be back here again tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. We'll continue our conversation about opportunity and risk. You take care.